Hi, this is Russell Stanlow from teachertrainingvideos.com. A lot of people ask me about how to lay out a Moodle site and make it look more interesting. And I've noticed when I do my training that a lot of teachers and lecturers don't realize the way that Moodle deals with the, the display of the content. For example, it's really important to understand what labels do in comparison with, say, if you're working with a page or you're working with a link or you're working with a file. Moodle deals with them very differently. Just a basic understanding of how and what tools you can use to organize the content on the screen. And so therefore, sometimes you might have visual content and sometimes you might have links. That is absolutely vital to making your Moodle site look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to show you a couple of quick examples and I'm going to show you what you need to think about. It's a quick video, but I promise you, if you're trying to make your Moodle site look a little bit more interesting, this is really going to help you. So let me clarify a little bit what I mean. If you look at this uh, website or this Moodle site, you'll notice that everything's actually visualized on the screen. There are no links at all. So in other words, you've got the uh, banner at the top that I've produced and then afterwards you've got some text. Now let me just contrast that with a slightly different way of working. So in this unit, what we've done is we've got here some content at the top which has been visualized, but then the rest of it is done through links that you click on. So what we need to do is to learn to be able to shift between when we want to visualize something and when we just want there to be a series of links on the page. And the, the essence of understanding that is really understanding what labels can do and how labels work very differently. So let me try to show you as quickly as I can what I mean by that. So what I want you to do is to focus on this area of the course. So this is part six of the course. So if you notice, there's nothing visual. At the moment, what we've got here is a series of different content books and files and chat. And notice that all of them are links. There's nothing visual on the screen. So when the student comes onto this at the moment, he can only or she can only see a load of links. How could we make this more interesting? And this is the essential point I want to make. Well, first of all, this section at the top, which is the basic information about the course, that is a label. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that if I clicked on that and edited it, anything that I did in this area would not turn into a link, but it would actually visualize on the screen. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. I'm gonna click here and just go to my images and I'll grab a nice big clear image to put at the top of the screen. So let's perhaps use uh, this one here, okay? I'm gonna select that. I'm just gonna say that description is not important for now. I could even make that even bigger if I wanted to but let's just see for now what that looks like. Now, notice the difference. There's no link that is visualized onto the screen. And of course, if I went back and edited it and added some text underneath as well, okay, and put a description or whatever I wanted to add here, that would also come out as would any videos I embedded anything that I add here at the top of the screen in that section will be visualized. So this could be the opening banner for unit six. Oh, sorry, I've grabbed the wrong unit there, but you understand opening banner for unit six with some text. And then we come to the links. And so what you notice about this content is that at the moment it's just all clickable links. And that's because of the nature of the file types that I've chosen. For example, a chat or a book or a folder or for example a file now what about if we worked with a label let me demonstrate first of all the difference and then we'll talk about the power of that so watch this i'm going to click on add an activity and this time i'm going to add a label so I click here click on add now notice that there's no title or anything it just is simply content and if i was to for example grab an image and put it into a label, you'll notice very quickly the difference. So if I was to select this file and then click on save image, just put there to put the description, notice that it's immediately visual on the screen. So when I click on save and return, this is not gonna click, this is not gonna create a link that links to that image. No, that image will be plastered 
into the course and there it is at the bottom now why would that be interesting well that could be interesting for example if i then decided to move that label say to the top of the course and that would be the introduction to the course and then i might have another label here and then some more links underneath and the next label might say uh, part one of the course or something so in other words labels are a way for example of organizing your screen and making it look much more interesting but also visualizing content Okay, so straight away you can begin to use labels through your course to break it up. So you might, for example, click on label and just to demonstrate what I mean, I'll just do this one more time and you'll get the basic idea. So if I click on add again, and this time I'm going to almost use the same image. So I'm going to click on images, click here and we'll grab exactly the same image that we just used there. Okay, click on save image. And again, so, sorry, I've got to click on that too not add a description and again remember this is going to be visualized on the screen so now we've got two but if I shifted that and say to here so imagine this is part one boom boom part two boom boom so we're using the labels to kind of start to organize the content and of course with that label there could also be a description underneath very quickly you start to see how you can make your courses look more engaging and this is what I'm continually doing playing between using labels and then adding the content under the labels even within a section and if we were just very quickly to turn that into the student now you might see what i mean obviously this isn't very professional but we've got a banner at the top with some text then we've got part one and some click links and then part two and some links. Now just really quickly to finish with you, let me give you an example of a course that I've built that's just like that. So if I come over to this course here, you'll see that this course combines visual elements with links. And again, I'm, you may notice that I'm using labels as a way of organizing the content followed by a series of links. So this way of working produces a very visual looking site that's much easier for people to work through and so you come to part two etc etc so that combination of understanding what a label does and what also the topic at the top of the uh, Moodle site or the top the top of every section does and the difference between that and working with for example URL links or working with uh, files or working with pages etc because they simply produce links to content this is Russell Stanner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Really hope you liked those videos on Moodle. That trick with labels and understanding labels is absolutely vital. Please come to my website. There are lots more free videos. You can sign up to a newsletter that offers you uh, all the latest videos that I've added up. It tells you all about the webinars I'm running, the short courses I run, software offers that I sometimes have. If you're not interested, you can click here and come through to all the content that is free. Uh, you might be particularly interested in the Moodle tutorials. If you click on those and you choose one, you just click on it. And when you watch a video, please okay, remember so I've into my Moodle installation. to watch it full screen. It's always a much better experience if you watch the videos full screen. Other sections that you might find very useful are the top 12 videos. That's the most popular videos on the website. Russell's five minute blog has just very quick videos uh, talking about different technologies in just five minutes and why they're useful and if you really like what I do you might like to follow me on YouTube because I add lots of videos onto YouTube that you won't find on my website uh, thank you very much